Hello and welcome back to CloudChamp. So in the previous video, we talked about AWS IAM service in depth. If you haven't checked the video, I'll link it here. It's the link in the description box. This is the video. We have covered a lot of topics uh, about what is IAM service, what are users, groups, roles, policies, what is MFA and what are the features of AWS IAM. So in this video, we are going to do hands-on practice of all the things that we have discussed. So first, please watch the previous video and then you can do the hands-on of this video. In this video, we are going to create an IAM user and create the group for the user, attach the policy to the group, then add the user to the group and we will enable multi-factor authentication or MFA for extra security of the user account. Lastly, we will create an IAM role and attach it to one of the AWS services. So let's get started without wasting any time. To get along with this video and to practice along with me, you need a free tier AWS account. You can create a free tier account with a debit or a credit card. If you face any problems creating an account, you can post down in the comment and I'll help you out. So here, as you can see, I am in the IAM dashboard. I have logged in as a root user. Now we will create an IAM user. Also, you don't need to select any region for this as IAM is a global service. It's not a regional service. We are creating an IAM account for the developer. We have a developer in our company, which is named as CloudChamp. So we will create an IAM account named as CloudChamp. So we want CloudChamp to have AWS management console access as well as the terminal or CLI access as well. This is what terminal is if you don't know. So let's create an IAM user name as CloudChamp with AWS management console as well as CLI access. So to create an user, we have to select, click on this users. And as you can see, we have two users already. We don't need this. So to delete a user, you will need to select the user and click on delete here. Type the name that is Cloud Ninja and click on delete. So you can see the user is deleting now. So user has been deleted successfully. To create a new user, you need to click on the add user button right there. Click on add user. You will get a screen like this. Now you have to type in the name of the user you want to create account for. In our case, we want CloudChamp. So we will insert CloudChamp. Now we want the user to have programmatic access that is CLI, API and SDK. So we will click on this. We also want the user to have AWS management console access. So we will create this as well. Now we will assign auto generated or you can provide custom password. We are going to select auto generated password and we will allow the user to reset the password later on when he logins to the account. So we'll take this as well and this will automatically provide the user with IAM user change password policy. The user will get this policy by default. Next, we will click on permissions. You can add the permissions from the existing groups or existing users, but we don't want to give any permissions to this user for now. Later on, we will create a group and we will provide permissions. You can also attach existing policies provided by AWS to this user or you can create your own policy. We will look how to create a policy in some time. For now, let's click on tags. Tags are used to, to differentiate the users from the other. Uh, it's not compulsory, but it is good practice to give tags. So let's give tag to this user, CloudChamp. So now you can review all the details that you have filled in. And now we will click on create user. Now you get the screen. This user has the access key ID and the secret access key. Also the password that is auto generated. You have to keep this thing safe because you can see this only once. Once the screen is gone, you cannot get your access or secret access key. So you need to download your CSV file. Let's download it. So the file has been downloaded. One more thing, you don't need to expose your 
एक्सेस की आई डी और सीक्रेट एक्सेस की लाइक आई टोल्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस इज़ वेरी क्रूशियल एंड इफ एनी वन गेट्स होल्ड ऑफ योर एक्सेस और सीक्रेट एक्सेस की यू कैन गेट अ यूज बिल सो डो नॉट एक्सपोज योर कीज एंड आई बी डिलीटिंग दिस कीज सो डोंट वरी सो लेट्स क्लोज दिस विंडो एंड लेट्स सी इफ द यूजर हैज़ बिन क्रिएटेड और नॉट सो इन दिस यूजर सेक्शन एज यू कैन सी वी हैव अ क्लाउड चैम्प यूजर विच इज़ नॉट इन एनी ऑफ द ग्रुप्स एंड देर इज नॉट एम एफ ए एक्टिवेटेड नो परमिशंस प्रोवाइडेड टू दिस यूजर एज वेल सो एज यू कैन सी देर इज ओनली वन परमिशन दैट इज आई एम यूजर चेंज पासवर्ड सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड आर आई एम यूजर लेट्स क्रिएट अ ग्रुप हियर इन द यूजर्स ग्रुप एज यू कैन सी वी ऑलरेडी हैव टू ग्रुप्स to delete a group you just need to select the group you want to delete and click on so now we will create a group for the user we have created so let's click on the create group here and type in the name of the group so we want the group for developers so we will name it as developers and now you can add the developers in this group uh, we the cloud champ is our developers so we will click on cloud champ here you can attach the policy we want this developers to access only ec2 service and no, nothing other than that so let's type in the service name ec2 so here is the first amazon full access what this policy is it allows everything all allow all action on ec2 on all the resources it also allows auto scaling and create service link role everything that is related to ec2 so let's just select that policy and scroll down here we get the option of create group let's click on this so now the user developer user has been created so now the developer group has been created and we have one user that is cloud champ in this group so if you check cloud champ has will have policies from the group that is amazon ec2 full access so let's log in to cloud champ copy this console link and paste it into the incognito mode so username and the password click on sign in and as you can see we got the option to change the password so now now we are logged in into the aws account with the cloud champ user as you can see here we have the account id and the iim username that is cloud champ so if let's go and check out what we can do with this user ec2 so we can easily see ec2 dashboard in the next section we are going to learn about this service so we can even launch we launch or terminate or start instance so we have full access for the ec2 instance let's try to see if we have the access for s3 as well so we are in the s3 you don't have permission to list bucket definitely we cannot create a bucket so here we have successfully created a user which has access only to ec2 service as created here it has only one permission that is amazon ec2 full access now we will enable multi factor authentication or mfa and select the user security credentials this is here as you can see it says as mfa is not assigned on this to assign mfa we need to click on manage you get three options to assign and manage mfa virtual mfa device utf security key or other hardware mfa device we can enable mfa on our mobile phone using an authenticator app so the famous authenticator that i use is the google authenticator which provides you with the code as mfa so you need to install this app from app store or play store i have already installed the app in my mobile phone so i'll click on continue and here you need to scan the code click on show qr code and i'll scan the code now 
in the app you'll get a plus sign and you need to click on scan QR code the camera will pop up and you need to scan the code once scan you'll get you'll get this if you can see you will get the code applied and you need to enter the code here you need to enter the two codes the first one is 032223 and the second one we have to wait till the timer goes and the second codes come second code is 522461 so we'll click on assign MFA and as you can see we have successfully assigned virtual MFA let's check this out log out from this and try to log in again so now this will ask us the MFA device as well log back in and now put in the username that is cloudchamp enter the password click on sign in now if you can see this is asking an MFA code because we have assigned MFA to enter the code the code is 505199 submit we have logged in successfully into our AWS account using our IAM user so this is how you create an user and assign MFA to the user if you face any problem please post in the comment section I will be there to help you out so now we have already seen how to create users groups attach policies and how to assign an MFA policies we have already talked about policies in the previous section detailed instruction about policy so these are all the policies that are provided by AWS and this is the policies created by me that is customer managed so to create a policy you need to click on create policy there are two ways to create policy if you know JSON you can just write the code and get the policy or if you don't know JSON not a problem AWS has a visual editor that lets you choose a service so we want a policy for EC2 let's say we just need to type in EC2 here now you need to select actions so we will select list and write so we want the users or this policy to have permissions which list the instances and terminate a launch instance these are all the permissions provided to this policy now we have to select the resources we can select it to all the resources uh, this is not the best practice but as we, we are doing a demo so it's ok we are not going to add request condition as it's optional and beyond the topic of AWS solutions architect so we'll select and we'll add the tag EC2 policy review EC2 policy policy to list and write instances alright we click on create policy the policy EC2 has been created let's try to attach this policy to this user here click on the select the user you want the, you want to attach and as we can see this user does not have the policy click on add permission select the attach existing policies directly type in the name of the policy you have created so it was easy to policy this was the policy and this is the policy summary click on next review add permission this policy has been successfully added to the user so this is how we create user we have covered all the topics here let's try to attach an IAM role to one of the AWS service let's try to attach it to an EC2 so click on the EC2 service we are going to learn about EC2 in the next videos from now onwards I'll be explaining you everything theory as well as the hands on so <clears throat> please follow along or please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out anything so let's launch an instance and try to attach a rule click on select click on the t2 micro as it is free tier eligible free tier eligible means you don't need to pay money to AWS unless you are in the free tier limits that is 750 hours per month that's a lot to practice 
Next we will click on configure AWS instance details and as you scroll down you get an option as IAM role where you can attach any role or you can also create your new role from here as well. Let's try to attach a role. I have already created this many roles. So now if we click on and go ahead it will launch an EC2 instance. This EC2 has the role that is S3 full access. So this is how you attach a role to any of the service. I hope you got the idea. So, so we have created all the topics noted here. We created a username as CloudChamp. We created the developers group. We attached the EC2 full access policy to the group and it was automatically attached to CloudChamp user. Then we logged into AWS IAM account using the CloudChamp login details. Then we enabled the multi-factor authentication using the Google Authenticator app. And then we create our own policy and we launched an EC2 instance with S3 WordPress role. So we learned a whole lot of things in this YouTube video. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Please like this video and leave a comment if you face any problems. If you think this video was good, please leave a comment. I'm going to post a lot of videos about AWS and DevOps. So if you're someone who wants to learn AWS or DevOps, consider following this and I'll be there to help you out. In the next videos, we will learn about AWS EC2 or Elastic Compute Cloud Compute Service. I'll be explaining you everything in theory as well in hands-on. See you in the next video. Bye.